Hello and welcome to our Blue Tech training videos where we discuss common features of the Bit app and website and how to use them to your advantage. In this video, we'll be discussing the features of the roadside inspection page, as well as what to do in the process of a DOT inspection or safety audit. To access the roadside inspection page, you can tap the three white lines at the top left to open the menu. Then under ELB options, click on roadside inspection. This will bring you to the current date Though you can navigate to other days either using the arrows here or by clicking the green year and using the date select option. The roadside inspection page will display the past 8 or 14 days worth of logs depending on your specific requirement. This view will closely resemble the version of your logs that a DOT officer will receive when transferring data electronically. If for some reason your logs cannot be transferred, an inspector can use this page to view the required information. At the top, you'll find important information such as dates, driver information, carrier information, and specific information regarding the vehicle being driven. You can move from side to side to view more info. And then down here, you will find all of your logs and graph data, which will also display all required information, such as location, odometer, and engine hours. The information here is all the FMCSA required data. To send the logs during a roadside inspection or on it, you can tap on the green cogwheel to see further options. When transferring the logs, these can either be sent through the eROD's web server or through a pre-programmed DOT email address. Per the mandate, we are not able to send this information to an inspector's direct email or any others. And the most common option is to send to the eROD's web server, which you can access with the Send Records to DOT web server option. Once there, you will receive a place to fill out a output file comment. This will be a code or file number that your inspector provides you in order to easily search their database. Otherwise, you can use the Email Records option and you'll see here that it says it will be sent to the FMCSA ELD SUB at DOT.gov email. You can also enter your output file comment there as well. For any other questions, please feel free to search out our other training videos, knowledge articles, and of course our support team. Thank you for watching, and as always, drive safe.